so I've been having some issues um, with the Jeep firing up lately. Um, you kind of have to do a double tap on it, if you will, um, before it kicks on. So it just kind of turns over, doesn't fire up. Um, and so what I'm going to try, and I ordered this from uh, Summit Racing, is the MSD Ignition. Here it is. The uh, ignition coil looks pretty badass. Definitely cost a pretty penny. It's heavy, I can tell you that. And then uh, for these 98 TJ Jeeps, you got to have the Excel uh, cable conversion here. This is another 20 bucks for that, which is slightly ridiculous, but you know, you know how that goes. Um, so I'm going to put this thing in and hope that it gives me enough spark to uh, to fire this thing off right away. Um, it's just that, you know, I don't know if the ignition coil is dying on it now or or what, you know, what it is. Because I replaced the wires, the plugs, the distributor cap, the rotor, um, and it's still just kind of, you got to do that double tap. and It turns over, turns over, and then it fires up. So I'm hoping to get rid of that. So let's, uh, let's see where this thing's going. All right, so if we come up to the Jeep, this thing sits right back here. You can see the distributor cap, and it is down right there, that guy. And you can see the plug. There's the plug for it. It faces uh, back that way, and you can see the plug that comes up and uh, hits the center. Um the center point on that distributor cap um, so there's that and uh, so we'll just unplug that hook up that Excel um, cable connector um, put in that uh, MSD ignition coil and uh, see what we get okay so it's right down here one of the cool things with the Jeep TJ's is that the hood goes all the way back and it sits kind of on the upper part of the the windshield so you have you know tons of room in here to get to basically everything so it's just right down here um, let's see if I can get the connector off real easily or if I have to use this screwdriver yeah screwdriver time it's just one of those push type plugs it's in a weird spot because the oil dipstick is right here so I'm trying to get at it there we go okay so that thing's off and it looks like let's see alright so so there's the plug it's off you can see the uh, ignition coil right there it looks like it's on there with a bolt yeah there's a bracket and there's two bolts and they look to be about I'm guessing 12 mil 12 or 14 that's my guess anyway let's see come over here to my messy uh, Garage is a mess right now. There's a little bit of everything here. That's not it. There's 10. There's 12. I hate these ones with this. What is that? 12 point. 10 point whatever that is I like the ones that just grab the whole bolt you know like that um, let's see there we go well it's too deep it's kind of tight in there so yeah so looking at this 14 it's definitely not a 14 I'm pretty sure it's a 12 and there's a 13 Seven sixteenths. All my stuff is not organized, as you can see. What's this guy? Twelve. Perfect. 
So let's see if this is the one. So there it is down there. You know what? It might be a 10. Yep, it's a 10. You can see I got a little bit of everything laying around here. There's the 10. Yep, it's a 10 for sure now, okay. So let's see, let me just set this up. You can see my homemade uh, intake there in all its glory. These bolts are not easy to get at there. Way down in there. You can see the one but not the other. I kinda have to just place it on there and oh yeah, it's way on the other side. Let's see here. Maybe I can take this one off and then twist it a little bit. Well, the bolt came undone really easily. So that's good. At least on the one side, now I can't get to the other side. Unplug that main wire that's going to the distributor cap and might give me a little bit more clearance of things just kind of in the way. Looks like there might be a spot. Alright. Yeah, so there it is. See those two bolts right there? That's what I need to get to. I can't see anything. Here we go. the bolt okay that bastard's on there okay and this one came 
loose really easy too, so that's that's a plus. One tiny click at a time. And honestly, I'm not sure if I'm going to mount it in the same location. It's kind of down in there. I'm kind of a pain in the ass if I ever need to take it out. Well, that one's still on there pretty good. This one's twisting. So yeah, if you got a two inch lift on your Jeep like this one, it's pretty easy to see that ignition coil right there and to get in there from underneath like I said that right side bolt you can get in there from over the top but this one uh, on the left is almost impossible to get at from above loose but it's not going anywhere yeah it just mounts to that metal bracket right there I'm gonna loosen up that right side bolt a little bit See, there's not a whole lot of room to work in here. I'm hitting some kind of cables underneath. Alright, now I can move it with my fingers. seem to be doing much though. They're loose but they're not going anywhere. I feel what's on the other side. Yeah, it's just a big long bolt. Okay, now I can feel everything loosening up. My fingers are cramping up. A little bit more on this left side bolt. And I think I'll go back up on top to get the other one because my fingers are dying oh man cramping 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 Alright, well to save some time on this video, let me pause it and I'm going to get this damn thing off. Okay, so 20 minutes later, I finally got this bastard off and it was a pain in the ass. Um, I thought that these just screwed right into a bracket. And so I was working on these for a while and then I figured out 
after looking at it closely that there's nuts on the back which was just a huge pain in the ass to get both arms in there and you know wrench away I basically ended up using a couple of little wrenches um, to get at it and the one on the right actually was the hard one it's just all gunked up and didn't want to come off so I'm going to clean these up and get this guy mounted in place and again it goes right there against the bracket here two bolts just sit right there so I'm gonna start working on that and we'll see see what we get okay so there it is you can see it down in there not very good because the light but uh, you know of course the red that's the MSD ignition coil um, so it's hooked up and uh, let's fire this thing up see what we have my hope is that it just fires right up. better but it's not what I wanted I was hoping it would fire right up so back to the drawing board that wasn't the uh, wasn't the fix like I was hoping <laughs> 